Educators in Kansas know how to keep their students safe in a tornado. They're always prepared for snow and ice. And they certainly know and practice how to evacuate the building in case of a fire. But earthquakes? That's a new one. But according to the U.S. Geological Survey, there has been a dramatic increase in the amount of seismic activity in the central United States, with much of that activity occurring in northern Oklahoma and southern Kansas. There has been a steady increase in the number of earthquakes in the Midwest every year since 2009, with 1,010 magnitude 3.0 or higher earthquakes in 2015 alone. To deal with this new reality, it's time we Kansans learn a new phrase, drop, cover, and hold. While most earthquakes felt in the Wichita area are light to moderate in strength and last for only a short duration, we do need to make sure that we are prepared in the event of a more powerful earthquake, such as the 5.8 magnitude quake that hit Pawnee, Oklahoma in September of 2016. For that reason, Wichita Public Schools officials, following guidelines from FEMA, have developed earthquake procedures for our district. Here's a quick overview so that we can ensure that students, staff, and visitors are safe. Let's read it together. Don't worry about your reputation. That's what shall... Uh -oh. At the first indication of an earthquake, initiate drop, cover, and hold. Drop to the ground, take cover under a desk or table, and protect your head with one arm while using the other arm to hold the table or desk. A designated staff member should plan to assist individuals that use a wheelchair. If no cover is available, have students crouch against an interior wall. Stay away from outside walls, windows, and potential falling objects. If outside when an earthquake occurs, move quickly away from the building and any overhead electrical wires. Sit down and wait for the shocks to subside. Do not attempt to enter the building until authorized to do so. Once the shaking stops, staff should account for all students, check for injuries, and immediately report any missing, extra, or injured students. In the event of a strong earthquake in the Wichita area, each school will activate the building crisis team and make announcements to staff, students, and visitors. Evacuation of the building may be necessary. If an evacuation is initiated, follow evacuation procedures. Do not use the elevator. During an evacuation, earthquake safe areas are away from the building, overhead power lines, and underground gas and sewer lines. In the event of aftershocks, remain calm and stay sitting close to the ground. Do not re-enter the building until the all-clear is given. In some situations, it may be necessary to call 911 or security communications. Be sure to tell them the name of your school and detailed information about the nature of the situation. Parents will be kept informed through ParentLink, social media, the district website, and through local media outlets. Earthquakes in Kansas? They're a part of our new reality, and in the Wichita Public Schools, we know that by being prepared, we can keep our students and staff safe. Remember this phrase, drop, cover, and hold.